Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out the Disciple of Aragul Mystic Enchant. This is one of the ones that we went over and showed you how to get. This one transforms your arcane missiles into shadow missiles. Then you also have uh, Tainted, so that basically increases some of the damage of your core abilities. Uh, Lessening the shadows to trigger the missile barrage to make your shadow missiles much faster and stronger. Then also Argul's Fury, which increases uh, crit as well as it can store up to 20 times. So basically, if you're not getting it, you're going to get a lot of damage. And once you do get it, even more damage. Um, what we went with the most important are the Corruption, the Curse of Agony. A um, couple other things here and there. I went with the Shadow Form. That was a pretty good one. And I managed to pick up a couple other things. A lot of dots, which I guess goes hand with this. This is mainly like a Affliction Warlock. Hop into the Talents and see some of the stuff that we got. Some Shadow Bolt, a lot of Affliction stuff, a lot of dot dealing stuff. Also is haste and crit. We have um, just some little things here and there. We might actually get rid of this one because this is a talent point. So I might get rid of that and see if I can just get regular ability even if I don't use it just so I have a talent point. Um, and a couple things here and there. I think we just have, oops. And we just have some random abilities from other classes. A couple things in the mage tree as well. Um, a lot of it ties into haste and or the barrage or the arcane missiles. So we're going to hop into a dungeon and a PvP battleground probably and see how this fares. We also got a little imp with us. We happened to roll that and I said, oh, why not? Um, nothing else too much. Not very good with AoE. Um, a lot of these classes I've been seeing that occur not too much good AoE. I have a lot of AoE abilities, but that doesn't really follow my rotation. So other than Arcane Explosion, these ones happen to work once in a while, but not really a lot. Um, we also got Evocation and Invade, which happen to help a lot, especially how much mana we use. So keep an eye out for those abilities if you want to play at this class um, and this Mystic Enchant. So we'll catch you in a few of those, and we'll be back. All right, we're in everyone's favorite BG, <laughs> this place. Um, so what basically I start out doing, if I can get all my dots off, hopefully not on a pet. There we go. Get all my dots off, um, I'll put my Devouring Plague on them, my Curse, just some extra things I have. Even the, the Affliction and the Corruption. And then I'll basically spam the Shadow Bolt, hit them with Moon Fire, maybe um, a Mind Blast. And then once I get my proc from my Missile Barrage, I'll use that. And basically just keep that rotation up and you do some pretty good damage. Um, I set up a couple of the Tell Me When procs to tell me like right here I have my Corruption and my Agony need to be reapplied. And then once my proc comes from my Missile Barrage, I use that. Um, other than that, not too bad. Some of the Druid abilities go well with it because it's like Arcane damage. Um, like the Moonfire. Sometimes it does proc Missile Barrage all by itself, which is definitely handy because it's an Instacast. Um, but other than that, you rely on a lot of your dots to keep up damage when you're not having Missile Barrage procs. It's nice because like when you're chasing somebody, you can just pop a dot on them and uh, it'll whittle them away. And we'll pop our uh, inner beat. Head back, we'll fight through. We're actually not doing too bad so far. We're losing, technically, but we just push them pretty hard. We just have to make sure we stay grouped up. Push them right into their spawn, boys. They're all running. Here comes our arcane barrage. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Oh, he dragon lord. We also happen to pick up this uh, demonic leap, which is pretty cool. Gets us out of trouble sometimes. Almost dead. We have a uh, we have a heal too, which actually does quite a bit. I think it's just because of our spell and inflict. Um, the only thing is you have to remember to put your shadow form back on after healing. There we go. Do a little of uh, I think it's evocate, yeah, evocation. Get a mana back, and let's hit off this guy. Put all the dots on him and light him up. Nice. Yeah, so pretty solid damage. I like having the ability just to keep spamming the Shadow Bolt and then having something that procs after that. Versus like sometimes melee you have to wait for uh, like rage or energy and stuff like that. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Boys, we got into a heroic dungeon. We're over here on this Warpwood guy. Take him out real quick, see how our damage is. Pop our, all our dots on them. I don't always put the dots on, but when it's like a boss and they have a little bit more health, I usually do. Right now I get them all on, they start to expire. 
we go. Let's pop some shadow bolts out. Let's see if we get any missile barrages. There we go. There's one. Oh, two. Oh, not a lot of damage at the moment. I know we're probably a little bit undergeared versus the rest of these people. Yeah, and he's dead. Nice. Alright, we gotta grind through the rest of this area. Fight the big boy. Definitely ready. Because I am. Got all the dots on there. The seed of corruption on there. Got the moonfire. My cat's doing some crazy stuff. Oh, we got the barrage. Let's go. Oh, we're about right in the middle of our DPS. Nothing too good, nothing too bad. We haven't really decked this guy out too much. I'm uh, just doing a couple of dungeons and battlegrounds. A couple of um, enchants too that seem to definitely help out, but I haven't went crazy with it because I'm still trying to get enough uh, extracts to extract these legendaries so we can play with them. Play around with them next time. Sweet. Destroyed him. Uh. Maybe I'll go with that. What do you think? A little bit of extra spell power and hit, but then I lose the haste. I stay with that. Oh, we'll just greet it. If we get it, maybe we'll put it on. Yeah, he needs it, so we're not going to take it. Uh, we get a cloak. That's nice. And some ogre tan. Nice. We'll use that cloak. We actually picked up a uh, travel's backpack as well, which is pretty cool. I'm going to keep this stuff because I think we use it for tailoring. Sweet. Uh, what else do we have? We have to go this way. Alrighty, so that was a little bit about the Disciple of Aragul. Pretty pretty fun so far. Um, definitely liked how I can just spam the Shadow Bolt and not have to worry about waiting for cooldown or anything like Rage or Energy. A um, little bit about how they would play with some of the core abilities with like the debuffs and the dots. Um, as well as a little bit of the rotation. But pretty cool class so far. Um, definitely interested in the other Aragul class, which is the Tiger Shadow. The Shadow, Shadow Tiger, I would say um that one and there's another one i was looking at so definitely keep an eye on a couple cool ones maybe we can try out like a tank or a healer soon that'd be pretty cool um so don't forget to leave some suggestions which ones you'd like to see check out and like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video